Nice, look at that. Lovely. Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0 IQJ. We're playing around this antenna, the SPX100, and I cannot get this thing to tune in, don't matter what I do. I've got it working on 6 metres, I can get into a local repeater, but I've not managed to make a contact. I've been using it with the FeatureTech aw 7 analyzer. I'm thinking, maybe this thing's faulty. So what I've gone and bought myself is a 50 watt, 50 ohms dummy load. So let's plug this into the analyzer and see what sort of results you get. Will this thing be faulty? What do you reckon? Okay, so we're going to be using a Zatagi DL50. Um, 50 ohms dummy load, 50 watts maximum, and DC divided by 500 megahertz. Now, is this analyze, um, dummy load just for HF, or will it do 270 as well? When I tried it on 270, I was getting high SWR readings. This, all I really want to do is try on HF to see whether my analyzer is more or less accurate. So if we turn the analyzer on and hold up, we get the backlight. Now if I zoom in on the screen, you'll see there we've got up is an antenna analyzer and down is frequency counter. We're going to push up. Let's go down the band. And down here you've got your band. So band A, B, C, D, E and F. So we've got there. So I want to go to band a, which is 160 meters. At the moment, it's turning through on 1.4 megahertz, 1.46. Band A, SWR is 1.0. The ohms is 53, and the complex impedance is 53 as well in ohms. Now I'm not sure what that one means. If you know what that means, um, place it in the comments below. If I've read that from the manual. It says uh, Z equals complex impedance. Not, not sure what it means, so I say post it in the comments below. So let's go to band A, which you're on, and go through it. So I'm going to go up to one uh, to two megahertz. And you're still sitting there, 53, 52 ohms, and one is the SWR 1.0 SWR. So here we go, 52 ohms. At 2 megahertz, one is the S1.0 SWR. Let's go to band B, which is 80 meters. Let's go up again, 3.5. See there, 52, 53 ohms, 1.0 is the SWR. Let's go right up to, to a 4 megahertz. Again, 53, 1.0 is the SWR. Let's go up again. So C is 40 meters. So we just go down. So we're on 40 meters, 52 ohms, and 1.0 again is the SWR. Let's go to D, which is 20 and 30 meters, but I'm just going to do 20. Fifty-two ohms, one point zero is the SWR. So we've gone past 20 meter band now. E, 10 and 15. So I'm on 27 megs, so 11 meters. And it's sitting there directly 50 ohms. And one on the SWR, so let's go up. 49 ohms, one on the SWR. 49 ohms, one on the SWR. Let's try band F, which is 6 meters. Now this is supposed to go up to um, 4 metres, but mine stops at about 61 megahertz for some reason. So we're on 51 megahertz, so 51 ohms, and 1 is the SWR. Let's go down, let's go up again. It hasn't really changed, 52, 51 is the ohms, and 1.0 is the SWR. So let's go right up. So mine's now stopped, I can't turn it anymore at 63.4 megahertz. So if you don't, I don't know why this doesn't do 4 meters. Instruction said it does, but mine doesn't. So what do you reckon? Is this thing in tune, or accurate, or is there a fault with that? What do you reckon? 
put it in the comments below. So there we go, the Feature Tech AW078 antenna analyzer. And we used it with the dummy load. What do you reckon? Is this thing accurate or is this thing faulty? My guess it's going to be this antenna here that's uh, going to be no good. I've got it working on six meters and I've got the local repeater but I can't make any contacts. And a friend did say to me that when he could hear that repeater opening, couldn't hear any voice coming through. Anyway, what do you reckon? Is it the analyzer that's faulty? Well, it's probably going to be this. I reckon it's going to be this. What do you reckon? Post it in the comments below. Let's say thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ73.